welcome to this video. Here is my lacrosse stick. This is kind of a weird start. Um, but anyways, so in a different video, I was going to show you guys how to make a donut, uh, donut around your shaft from the buddy stick, like, like this right here. But anyways, yeah. So I was going to do a tutorial on that. I actually have the footage right now, but I accidentally, when I was trying to turn off my camera, I accidentally did the stop recording button instead of the pause button. So I had to redo the video. But, um, so I can't really do it now because I actually have it and I don't want to redo it because it takes forever. Depending on, if it's your first time doing it, then it does take forever. Um, but if you've already done it a couple times, I don't even know why you're going to watch this video. Um, maybe forgot how to do it, but it does actually take a while. So in the, unless you have a lot of time, then I wouldn't recommend doing it. Unless you want to totally forget where you're at or something. I don't know. If you guys, um... I'm really good at remembering things, then uh, you're good, but um, yeah, so I'm going to teach you guys, well, I'm going to show you guys, I guess, um, how to do it, and there we go again, try to freaking pause my video, and it doesn't work, it's so annoying, okay, but anyways, so what you do is, you actually are going to put, you can't see the tape where it is right now because of my butt, but when you, or because of my donut, but when you do the butt, when you're going to tape the butt, and just a little bit after the end of the butt, you're going to put some tape there, that's where this, your your actual donut's going to go. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this if you play field lacrosse, it's more helpful for box lacrosse, um, but if you still want to do it anyways because you don't like, because if you're like playing with an LSM before, and they're like broke and you have to go for short stick and you're used to sliding your hand and your hand falls off then this also works even if you play a field across um, but um, so when you're doing it you're gonna like I said you're gonna put tape around your butt and then a little bit after and then you're going to do like a third of your tape you're gonna cut it and then you're gonna rip it and keep doing that and you're just gonna do it around like over the right before the butt so the end of the butt's actually like right there, and um, so I did mine a little too far, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. But um, so when you do it, you're gonna cut it, and you're just gonna wrap around a bunch of times until it's the thickness you want it to be. And um, I, I would have, depending on if you're left-handed for the cross, get your right hand, get your right glove, and then if you're le uh, right-handed, get your left. Um, so, because when you do it, because if your glove is bigger than your actual donut, your hand's still just going to slide out, and it's just going to be a waste of tape. Um, so, uh, grab, like, I'm left-handed originally, so I would, if you were left-handed, you would grab your uh, right glove and slide it. When you think that you have the right size, you slide it and see um, if it is big enough, and if it is, then that's fantastic. If you have too much, that's okay. Um, but if you are actually used to having a, if you guys would just want to, if you guys were just going to try and see what like, what it's like to have a donut, sh uh, on your stick, it does, and you like put, when you pass and cradle, you put your hand like on the actual butt of the stick and pass and stuff. It does kind of feel a little weird at, at the first, at first, but you'll eventually get used to it. Um, but anyways, back to the, to sorry, I was like checking my the time um but anyways back to the tutorial so you're gonna wrap it around like a bajillion times until it's the thickness you need obviously and then when you do that you're gonna cut it off and then i prefer using scissors um maybe if you guys are able to rip your own tape then that's fantastic i don't give a crap at all um but i actually need to put new tape right here i put some tape over but right here on my head i need new tape you need to retape that but it's not the point right now the point is the donut on your shaft so but what you're gonna do then is you're going once you do it like you can still see some like lighter like you can tell my my tape is dark and then the shaft is light and you can see I don't know if you guys can see right now but you wanna get here there's like you can see a little white right there lighter pink right there I don't know if you guys can actually see that but I can so you actually wanna get as close as you can to the butt and tape it so then you can't really see that if I would actually recommend getting the same color tape as your shaft. If your shaft is like rainbow or something, um, then just cover it up as much as you can. It won't look too bad because your glove is obviously going to be covering it. So, But still try and get as close as you can. And when you do that, you're just going to do, 
if it depends on how much tape you like because if you just want to make a little uh, little donut on your thing sorry my hold I'm not holding the stick but if you want to make like a just a donut if you're like those kind of people that don't really like tape um, then I do because it helps me with face offs but um, if not the people that like if you're kind of person who doesn't like tape then you can just always put tape on your butt that's what I always do because it makes it so it doesn't fall off as easy some shafts or some sticks are really good with that but um, most of the people on my team actually their butts just they just literally just go boop and their butts off um, and I bet you like six trillion people or like I bet you just everyone that say, I, whenever I say butt you guys just start cracking up but anyways so I'll call it the bottom end of the shaft um, the little extra piece or whatever um, but anyways so yeah you're gonna do the donut and then afterwards if you like to have tape on your stick a little more then you're gonna tape around as long as you want it um, and then there's your donut and um, then also but before what you do is you if, if you're a kid um, get your parents permission before you do this because it actually is a really good fire hazard you're gonna get one of those little lighters even I don't even care what lighter but you're not gonna actually um, you're gonna do it but before keep in mind before you actually two things before you actually put this tape on you want to set the lighter with this so your glove doesn't get glue on it and stuff um, well not glue on it but like sticks to your butt or to the donut um, and also when you're doing this the rip side like when you're ripping it there's gonna be like the nice smooth side because that's the end of the tape and then there's gonna be the really jaggedy side from you ripping it ripping it you want the jaggedy side to be up um, I actually made the mistake I wasn't paying attention I actually made the mistake of doing that and it was really stupid of me but you want to have the jagged side up not and then because then it'll be smoother on the bottom you know and you got to be really careful when you're taping this too it's not too wide um, but what you're gonna do anyways what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the lighter before you put this extra tape on you're gonna get the lighter and not actually touch it but get close to it and you're just gonna move your stick around so your glove doesn't get stuck to it and then you can start adding the extra tape but anyways hope you guys that was uh, you guys my medicine is just weird okay so I shouldn't even say I'm, I'm taking medicine and of course I I tried and pause the video. Doesn't work. I'm I'm done. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for watching this video. Goodbye. No, just kidding. But yeah, so there's how you make the donut on your shaft. And if you guys want to see any more tutorials, tutorials on the cross stuff, anything really, uh, parkour, um, skateboard tutorials. I don't know how to do many tricks. Uh, if you guys want to learn how to ollie or uh, board side, front board side, front board side 180, fakey front board side. I'm your man, I guess. Um, but, yeah, so if you guys want to see any more tutorials of lacrosse, you guys, lax, um, the parkour, I don't even care. Did you guys just say, like, can you do a parkour tutorial on how to double Kong or something? And then I'll try and find a good place for me to be able to do that. Um, I actually am only 11, so I can't really travel around that much to be able to go see something, or where something is, but... It's okay, I guess. But yeah, so that is how you make the donut on your shaft. It is actually really helpful if you're used to, uh, like, LSM or D-pole and you it broke, then you can just, your hand keeps sliding off because it's used to a longer shaft. Instead of trying to get used to that, well, it's still good to try, and to, try to, but um, if you end up do screwing up with that, you have your donut, nice donut to stop your hand. But thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Really hope you enjoyed. If you, like I said before, if you want to see more tutorials, just post in the comments and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you already haven't. This sucks. Try to pause my video and it doesn't pause. And I tried to stop my video and it doesn't work either.